guys welcome back to my channel i bet you're wondering why i have this stuff as my entrance but we will get to that <laughs> so i have this mess right here i am working on resculpting this beautiful pop-um popo pop-um popo i think it is model and it was a unicorn pegasus that picture is what he used to she or he it's not really defined but that's what this horse used to look like and right now I am sculpting I took off the wings and the neck um I had started this last night and that's what this mess is and <laughs> always please 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 do not try this at home and be very careful I do not have a dremel kit and I am using this exacto knife it's not really an exacto knife it's a knife it's a really cute one but you know um always always cut away from you if you're going to attempt this project i'm going to show you what happened to me when you do not do that i cut my hand and it wouldn't stop bleeding <laughs> i actually ended up cutting into the muscle kind of i saw purple inside my hand I didn't freak out, but it was very, very white. Um, I did not get stitches. It's about an inch long. I should pro I mean, if you were to go to the emergency room, I don't think they would really do anything because there's not much muscle on your hand, well, skin on your hand to sew that up. Like this one, if you can see, that is my middle finger. I had gotten cut by my dog's cable. Her spring was in my hand. She pulled and it slipped and it cut my finger. I got stitches and it's very gentle and tender so I didn't get stitches for this one but I didn't go to the emergency room I toughed it out so if you do end up getting a cut like this please go to the emergency room if it's very bad and you can't control the bleeding yeah so just please 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 be very very careful don't pull a me which is what I did so this is why I stopped and this is why I am doing this away from me and I grabbed this to sand it down instead of using this all the time. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here is what this side looks like. I currently have not done this yet. I had done the bottom strap, there was a strap here, yesterday, that's when I cut my hand. But I will be thinning that with the drill. Um, there is some rough patches here that I will be thinning out. Here is what it looks like on the side that I have done in the time lapse. So it's really exciting. So happy how this is turning out. This is turning out amazing. Um, the saddle will be coming off. Trust me, it will be coming off. I'm going to try and do this tail. I would really, really like to make this tail so it's not out like that. Maybe if we can push it down, that'd be great. But I think I may end up leaving it. But I'm not going to bore you with another time lapse. So I'm just going to get this cut off and then I will show you the final when it's done. So this might take me a while. So, you know, but we're having fun with this. Um, so far this is the, the scrap pile. Look at that lovely scrap pile. Um, <laughs> the floor, you should see my floor right now. Let me move this, got it on the stool. 
this is the floor. It always gets messy whenever I craft and I've had pieces flying over there. I've had pieces flying into the kitchen and there's been pieces flying everywhere. <laughs> but we're having fun, you know. And I think my candle is burning out, but he'll be okay. So here we go. Let's get started again on the next side. Okay, now that he's all sculpted out, make sure you want to sand it down first to get all of the little flakies. I had started to paint it. That's why it's kind of scraped like that, scraped white. And I realized there's flakies. What am I going to do? So I just wiped it off, sanded it down. I need to get new sandpaper. But And now I'm going to paint him. I'm using this craft smart satin acrylic paint and this is permanent well it can be washed off your hands um, but I do that do a base coat of white paint him some natural colors which I will be picking out after I google some images of what I want him to look like and then I found this matte spray at Target for four dollars it is the best thing it does not like it's not glossy it's crystal clear you cannot see it and it locks on the paint so you can get him wet in the water and it just it won't come off so this matte spray do not get the clear do not get the glossy get the matte spray because that will lock in your colors and that will keep it on him forever and if you want to do a repaint on him just paint over it don't try to take it off it'll get sticky with nail polish remover just try to just paint over it and you cannot see it so let's get him all whited up now i am painting this model to my preferred colors i am using a satin acrylic paint golden brown with a brown acrylic paint and white and black I am using a reference picture to design my horse. I'm adding some white spots, blending it in. Okay, and now we have our model. I had to cut off the video at that point because I had to let the paint dry. I blended in the colors to make the brown a little lighter. I did a couple more coats of it and I added some white spots. I took the, I have like three paintbrushes here. I took the tip of this paintbrush, dipped it in my white, and just dotted it on the horse. So here he, well, she, I don't think I'm going to turn, turn it into a boy because I don't have the epoxy or whatever they use to re-sculpt. So I think I'm gonna leave it as a girl. So she is a patched Appaloosa. She's got her brown tail. I am working on the eyes. I took the dark brown and just did a very, very light coat over the, the hooves to make it look natural. And I will be painting the bottom here. And here she is. So this is what she looks like. And our reference picture was oh was this horse but I wanted to do it a little different so here she is I didn't want to copy the exact design but I did try a little bit but here we go I'm going to be keeping this model because this was my first ever re-sculpting and custom that's awesome. Um, I will be painting my other models that I had got with her and they will be up on my stay. She'll, they will be up on my eBay, so I will pull that up on my iPad so you can see where to go. So let me paint this and I will show you that eBay. Okay, so if you all are wondering about my eBay, this is my profile. Um, just search for this. It's not a shop, but this is me. I have sold a bunch of stuff in the past. I do buy things from eBay. I also have these handmade light accessories for sale. There have been like 700, 
80 views on this one and like 300 something on this one and there are a couple watchers but nobody has bought, bought them yet and I am very very hoping that soon somebody will buy them so they can get out of my closet. I have them boxed up. This jumping set has been handmade. It is $5. Um, these little sticks, they're Cavaletti jumps. They do come off of their stands. So I'm hoping that somebody will buy them. Their shipping, it's gonna be depending on where you are, but for now it's like $4 just depending on where you are. See, there's been 779 views. Um, the other one is Handmade Schleit Accessories. There's been 355 views on this. I think there is one watcher, but there are some very cool items, all handmade, painted. They are sturdy. They are in a box right now, and they are ready to be shipped. This one is going to be more expensive because of how big the box is. So y'all go on and get these, grab these up because these are the only ones available right now. But soon there will be um, these guys. I'm not sure if anybody would buy them as they are not Schley. They are not branded, so they may be very hard to sell, but I'm going to try to repaint these guys. I have four and hopefully they will sell, but they, as I said, they are unbranded. And so that is a little tour of my shop. And so please go and just check it out. And the final is this guy. Well, girl, the final is this girl, here she is. She will not be on my shop as she is my first sculpting um, model I've ha ever done, so she will be special, very, very special on my shelf. But there will be soon to come, like I said, these guys, so just check me out. I'm on eBay. You can message me. Um, tell me, ask me if I think you can send offers. And if not, just private message me and I will allow the offers as I have done before. So just guys go on and grab these up. And thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. It means the world to me, like it's amazing. Thank you guys for watching and just enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.